Teacher Appreciation Week that for some reason coincides with contract signature week. <laughs> Does it really for you guys? No, it doesn't for me. But nationally, I've heard it's like around that time. Ours come out in, if you're like really on your shit, you get yours in February. I got mine in April because I had to deal with some certification stuff. But ours is like on a rolling thing based on who you know, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if contract signing week necessarily coincides with teacher appreciation week, but one thing's for sure. Nurses appreciation week always overlaps perfectly. Oh, yeah. (laughs) We have to share that one. They said them women workers will give them a week, but they got to split it. I'm not dealing with the women bullshit two different weeks. Put them in the same week. And if you want to hear about why that is, go to last year's teacher appreciation episode. We went down the rabbit hole on it then. Man, I forgot about that. I knew we did a teacher appreciation, but I knew it wasn't submissions. I couldn't remember what we did. I don't remember what we did, but I remember trying to figure out who had the week first. Yes. And I remember we looked up bad ones. Because we read from the internet. Yeah. We looked up like horror stories. This time we got them straight from the community. Horse's mouth to our ears. Um, Horses see really fucked up. Do they? You know how they put blinders on horses? Yeah. I saw a graphic that was like what a horse sees without blinders. I see why they freak the fuck out. That's overwhelming. Oh, no. Wait. Let me look it up. Everyone, look it up with me. How horses <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> oh right yeah, I don't I don't think I would like that personally <laughs> right yeah I get like it. I used to feel bad for them with the blinders and now I'm like nah that's good I'm sure that that's like a welcome relief you know I don't know much about horses or fish but TikTok has taught me that people who own and love horses and fish are very very good at doing what's best for them <sighs> Probably five years ago, I would have been like, man, I bet that's really sad that the horses have blinders on. Nowadays, if I see a passionate horse owner with blinders on their horse, I know that horse is fine. And to take it a step further, if I see you with a horse and it doesn't have blinders, I'm reporting you to PETA. And I'm going to take a video and harass you in the street for animal cruelty. Exactly. As PETA would want. You have your horse here. Blinderless. I'm going to dump blood on you. I'm going (laughs) to dump blood on you. And the horse. (laughs) The horse is with me also dumping blood on you. Me and the horse, are. we had a meeting (laughs) prior. (laughs) I'm so sweaty. I'm like chilling myself with my Diet Coke. I told you I was going to get a snack and I just grabbed a Diet Coke. (laughs) That is a snack. That's the best snack. I remember when I really was so delusional that I thought when I worked at a hotel I was like it's fine that I don't eat the whole day because I'm having like eight Dr. Peppers a day so that's like 800 calories I was like that's the same today I have had this isn't bragging I don't want to hear shit where people are like don't brag about how little you're eating this is a problem this is a cry for help today I've had a Celsius a Diet Coke half a banana that my toddler didn't eat and a yogurt I recently got converted I would say about a year and a half ago is when I learned that like eating three meals a day is like not like people are actually doing that like I just thought that was like something that doctors say but like no one's actually fucking doing that shit but I have been eating three meals a day I get it like y'all were right about some stuff like it's actually shocking how much it helped my anxiety when I started eating breakfast and I was like bitch you just needed protein like I hate when they're right no literally it. it makes me so mad when they're right they were right about water too fuck them for that one and exercise this is fucking bullshit i know it's (laughs) disgusting i i'm telling you in 2019 i went to my sister-in-law's house for the first time with my husband and they ate three meals a day and i was so shocked i was like breakfast just happened what do you mean what do we want for lunch no literally it was flabbergasting to me and i didn't realize that i had fucked up all my hunger cues oh my god by not eating three meals a day i would say after a year of eating three meals a day they're just now starting to improve I feed my child three meals a day and I feel like I'm constantly feeding her. I'm like, and I was going to make a TikTok about this the other day where I was like, why is so much of my day either cooking a meal, eating a meal, cleaning up from a meal or shopping for a meal? Did you see the TikTok that was like, I don't want to decide where to eat anymore. I'm going to embed it in here for all of you. I don't want to choose what to eat anymore. I'm sick of picking what to eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I cannot handle it for one more second. I would like to take a tablet that is my food for the day. I am sick to death. 
Have you seen that? Yes. No, you haven't. No, I did. <laughs> I don't want it to decide. Oh, I got way more teacher appreciation things than I thought I did. I got a fair amount, too. So if you didn't already gather from our vague, um, <laughs> I don't know the word I'm looking for. We alluded that we're doing this, but to be direct with you, since in the spirit of transparency, um, <laughs> we asked for submissions about your teacher appreciation week like best and worst I want it all and the in-between and can I just say I have a I have a teacher appreciation week ick tell me when teachers complain about getting a certain gift too often like I saw some people online being like I'm so tired of getting mugs blah blah blah. and I just think that that's literally so fucking rude like I think if a family or a child takes the time and money to get you a gift like it's not the gift it's the time and energy to me so, like, even if I am going to fully give that mug away or give it, like, to a charity of some kind, even if I'm literally never going to use it, I'm still so grateful for it. You know what I mean? I hate that. It bothers me so much when people say that. Like, they're trying their best. They don't yes. know you. So they are Googling, like, what do you give a teacher? Or kids would come up to me and be like, you have coffee every day, miss. Like, this is for your coffee. And that yeah. warms my little heart. Like, they're doing their best. It is a common gift. I think if a gift is from, like, a family or a kid, it's never okay to be like, oh, that's far. Like, it's never okay to be like, annoying about it but I think when it's from administrators or the school district it is a hundred percent fair game because usually these gifts show that no thought went into it because you see us every day so like you should know like I, parents don't see me every day so I don't expect you to know like my favorite restaurant or my favorite color or whatever but like the school district should know what our problems are and know what good gifts are and have like a little bit of self-awareness because that's what a lot of the bad ones give is zero self-awareness to really like give that to people and act like that's fine totally I will say like I like to have like the mug with the school's name on it I like to have a jacket with the school's name on it so like I love a quarter zip give me uh, a yes. quarter zip and I am happy I love when they do that because I just think it's kind of fun I think I'm about to be in the teacher merch market because I'm presenting at a district thing and they sent me a, a little like Microsoft form I had to fill out to confirm my attendance and they asked me for my shirt size and my jacket size oh hell yeah when they ask for the jacket size that's you're getting something good right I was like my jacket I know that we hate charter schools a lot but I gotta tell you the charter school network that I worked for in LA has the most badass swag you've ever and they called it swag I'm not calling it swag there was a school that had baseball jerseys that were hand spray painted. I've seen varsity Letterman jackets. I've seen I've seen I the have seen coolest that. shit, and I'm just like, <gasps> I loved it. We got and we got lots of cool stuff from them too. My administrators have this thing, and I need to like find one of them, pull them in a corner, and ask them how they obtained it and where I can get one. It's like varsity Letterman, but it's like a sweater. Like they wore them in Greece. Yes. They have those. And oh, that's so cool. With buttons. Oh, I love that. And I'm that. like, where did you, how did we obtain these? And it's just the administrators that have them. So I don't know if they like got the, I don't know, but I want one. Maybe one of them will leave. <laughs> I hope not. But I'll be like, I, I won't quit if you give me the jacket. Fork it over, Buster. <laughs> Hand it over. I still wear some of my shit from that school. I have a denim jacket that's custom from that school with pins on it that I still wear made me feel appreciated since we're on the topic I feel like I'm out of the teacher loop that I don't wear denim jackets I don't even own one like I feel like every teacher is so into the denim jacket moment and I literally just never went there that's fine I think it's more of a millennial teacher moment interesting I think it's because I hate wearing dresses and that's where I see them the most often mm. paired with yoga pants are nothing <laughs> 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 okay, I'm just going to start reading things, I suppose. Go. This person said that the PTA... These are so funny. Okay, go. <laughs> the PTA sponsored neck and shoulder massages on campus. I could see that either being, like, really cool if they hired, like, an actual spa, but I could see that being, like, really terrible if it was like, and the parents are going to do it! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> This person put a trophy emoji, so I think it means it's a good thing, but... Yeah, um, like, I'm assuming it was, like, massage envy. 
like partnership yeah. and not like oh my god my brother works there it's, a, it's an establishment it's a little overpriced in my opinion but i get it franchising is expensive oh my gosh <laughs> cray in a good way a parent handed me 400 dollars cash i didn't know what to do that's happened to me as well thank you so much and turn around walk get away as quickly as you can before they realize i've talked about this before but at my very first school they didn't really do presents they would just collect like two to five dollars from every kid in the class and then they would present that i love that yeah because they were like just cold hard cash yeah if every kid gives two dollars it's 50 bucks and that's pretty nice yeah 50 bucks like that's a dinner that's like a big dent in a grocery trip yeah and a lot of people would give a little more or like whatever so it was it, i really appreciated that even though it wasn't like a traditional gift i was like perfect in some <laughs> ways it's the most traditional gift you know what? You're so right. And it's always appreciated. Always. $400 is a lot. And I want to know, like, did they just have it in, like, a wad? Or did they put it in, like, an envelope? Like, right. I want to, like, see how this went down. Did they, like, slide it to you kind of, like, on the low, like, in their kid's folder, like, during pickup? Like, Do you want to read some? <laughs> a single-use poncho in Florida. Oh, my God. Another good one. Breakfast, but by second period, there was none left. So I guess some of the <gasps> teachers didn't get it. Oh, I hate when that happens. That has happened to me before and nothing makes me sadder. Okay, tell me why this is not the first time I've fucking heard of this. We talked about this same thing last year. This person just had it happen to them recently. They said a literal rock that said you rock from admin. This is not the first time we've encountered no. the you rock pebble. Yeah, and I don't understand that because I get that it's like funny, but for what? A piece of candy with a note would be better. Yeah, like what are you going to do with that? I, I find that very Keep strange. Keep on rocking. A joke like that is only funny if it's with a real thing too. Otherwise, it just comes off wrong. Yeah, like I think those puns are funny, but like if, you don't have a gift. Your joke isn't funny anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, this is another good one. Admin gave each of us one number two pencil. With a note? With like anything? No? Nope. Nothing? Just one? a pencil. I bet it was one of those ones that fucking sucks that when you put it in a sharpener because it's wrapped in plastic. Do you know what I'm talking about? You rock with the wrap around it and then you stick it in the pencil sharpener and it just completely breaks oh my god this is iconic a kid gave me a portrait she drew of a yassified abby lee miller i love it i would frame that oh god i love a good drawing these things that come out of these kids brains are hilarious i also wonder the age of the child me too because i bet if it was in i bet if it was high school like sometimes when high schoolers make you art as a joke it's like actually incredible artwork and you're like you put your fucking soul into this meme like I love this that's what I'm eager to see I made them make art today we learned about art history of America and I said you can either write a paragraph about what we learned or you can pick a historic event and make art about it so I'm real eager to see what got turned in I can't wait I know that we're not allowed to show the kids artwork on the internet, but I love seeing it. I think it's so fun to see like what they did. This might be illegal. I don't think it is. But I've occasionally showed kids art on the internet, kids that have already graduated, like old art that mm -hmm. I have. I've also done it with terminally online kids, so I'm confident that they I don't think that they're going to sue me because I showed I showed their hilarious artwork from three years ago. Yeah, they're probably not. Without their name on it. I don't really think like the government's got its eye on that one, but <laughs> take me away if so. <laughs> Lock me up. Oh, interesting. Foundation. <laughs> this person said just odd AF. Like makeup? Yeah. Was it the right color? Did they give everyone different colors? <laughs> No, it just says foundation. Did they like have the Sephora person come and do like a color match for everyone? Because that could be kind of fucking cool. That would have been fun. People need to start calling us and being like, here's what I want to give for teacher appreciation. How can I make it so much cooler? Raz, we can rebrand ourselves as consultants and charge like 30 grand for that. Everyone, this podcast is canceled. We have business. <laughs> we have a business plan. We are now Teacher Appreciation Week consultants. Yeah. Late April is very busy for us, but we do nothing. The other times of the year. We're like Mariah Carey at Christmas. Yes. <laughs> so this person got 10 pounds of potatoes times 12 because most of their class 
are in farming families. That's not bad. You could sell that on Facebook Marketplace. She says 120 pounds is too much. No, it's not. You need a potato seller. You need like a Facebook Marketplace or a deep fryer. Like you could start a DoorDash restaurant that just sells like potatoes. Yeah. If one of my students brought me a 10 pound bag of potatoes, I would be thrilled. And if 12 of them, I'd be like, I'm really doing something here. It's interesting that they all farm potatoes. Is this Idaho? It's probably because we don't practice crop rotation like we should so a lot of times like a whole town is all farming the same thing which is quite literally the worst way for us to go about it economically environmentally longevity wise like there's so many reasons why we shouldn't do it that way but it's it is what is done you know everything is your head heavy from having such a big brain so what I think is interesting is a lot of people are like how do you remember everything but I don't because like I will be like oh I should stream about this and then I go and look back and I did like a year ago and I'm like (laughs) I don't remember any of that stuff And I like don't know anything about that topic again. I've started doing that with the podcast. I'm like, we should do an episode on such and such. And then I'm like, oh, I think I did that. But I'm very passionate about our agriculture system. And by passionate, I mean worried. Yeah, it's fair. (laughs) Um, Multiple people have said a vibrator. Are you serious? Yeah. Why do I have two people that said that? I'm hoping they work at the same place. That is insane. It says older teacher in my building had a student bring her a vibrator. Mom sells them and didn't know kid had brought it in. Teacher thought it was a hand slash neck massager and let kids feel it. That is an SNL skit. No notes. Absolutely no notes. I wonder if the mom was a part of Candy Burris's sex toy pyramid scheme. (laughs) I have not a vibrator one, but similar, not appropriate for school one. A teacher at my school was once given weed and a Super Mario bong. And then in parentheses, she doesn't smoke. I know this person and they work at an elementary school, so I'm assuming a parent gave them to them. Oh, my God. In a place where weed is legal? Yeah. Okay. So that makes it, like, less insane, but that's Mm -hmm. still insane. Right. Like, that's still absolutely insane. Yeah. Even in California, we're not to the point where that's on the same level as, like, wine or something, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like the only version of that that could maybe not be insane is if, like, you live in a state where it's legal and you gave, like, a gift card to the place. Mm -hmm. That I could see being not insane. But a Super Mario bong and a fucking Ziploc bag of weed is insane to bring to a school. That is literally nuts. Did they get arrested? Because even if it's legal a school is still a drug-free zone and can't you get arrested by like the school cop or at least removed from the premises i mean you're also not allowed to have alcohol on school grounds and this person says my husband got a pbr tall boy in a paper bag from a retiring teacher not arrested (laughs) ew one year we got a single serving of cabot cheese that was donated to the school what in tarnation i mean this is not teacher appreciation but i think it warrants being included Got a pen for Christmas from admin. Got laid off three months later due to misappropriating funds. <gasps> oh my God, some of these are so weird. A cooler of baked potatoes next to squeezable sour cream and that was it. I would love that, I fear. That's just so oddly specific. Was this like put out at lunchtime or was this like your gift? I'm guessing it was like a lunch thing. This is an actual good one. This is a good idea One thing I will apologize for is I feel bad for administrators when they're not given any funds to do teacher appreciation and then they do some bullshit like you rock because like what else were you going to do when you got a budget of literally zero dollars. So this is a good idea for any administrators with a zero dollar budget. My school lets us come in an hour late or leave an hour early. That is a good one. Good, right? Time back is a great gift forever i bet the principal could even sub if need be that would be super nice i'm guessing that's what they did i feel like they would just kind of put all the kids in the gym and put on like what's that movie the remember the titans oh sure (laughs) oh dear um victoria's secret panties what is wrong with people would i be weirded out yes Would I take them home and use them? Also, yes. Well, yeah. What are you going to do? In this economy, this person said, husband is still concerned by this single dad who got me very sexy perfume from Victoria's Secret. I mean. I, it was perfume. I think that is just a man that doesn't know how to shop. I think that was a man that was like, what gift do I give woman? And he was at the mall and someone sold him that. 
I think if he actually had weird intentions, he would have gotten you something way fucking weirder. Like he would have gotten you lingerie if he was weird. I think he just doesn't know what to give women. One would hope. That's what I'm going to go with. I think that's giving nerd more than predator to me. To me, it gives me so such weird vibes. But you know what? I'm going to go with assuming positive intentions. No, I, I'm envisioning single dad insurance agent. Khaki's terrible fucking shirt that he's wearing. He's walking around the mall. This is the fourth story he's been in. He's like, what do I get my kid's teacher for teacher appreciation? And the sales associate is like, why the fuck are you on Victoria's Secret? But I really need to make a fucking sale today. My manager's on my ass. So she guided him to the least weird thing in Victoria's Secret. <laughs> That's the narrative <laughs> I'm choosing to believe for your sanity and mine and your husband. Yes, that's exactly what happened, everyone. Because no one in Barnes & Noble helped him, and in Victoria's Secret, they helped him. So that's why you ended up with that. <sighs> this is a long one. I like that this person gave their best and their worst. Okay. Best. My first year teaching, our district bought seven different local food trucks and gave us an hour-long lunch. They allowed us to work in our classrooms the whole day doing whatever we needed to. That is wow. an awesome teacher appreciation a whole day to work in your classroom and an hour-long lunch that's like catered by multiple restaurants incredible that is amazing this is their worst one okay. last year different district we got a quote bag of hope it was literally a tiny drawstring bag that etsy stores ship jewelry in inside of it was a slip of paper with five words of encouragement and a tiny probably fake crystal all of us looked at each other like what the fuck when our principal passed them out to us how do you control your face in a scenario like that and it called being a bag of hope that would make me want to jump out my classroom window i have giant windows in my classroom that were put in the 70s so they like definitely are not up to code for today i would open it and hurl my body out of it <laughs> holding the bag of hope Ooh. This person got a Tiffany bracelet. Let's sell that shit. eBay.com. <laughs> Make that money. That's so nice, though. It is. <gasps> oh, my God. A tea light that says you light the way. Mm, no. For those of you that don't know, a tea light is those little teeny tiny candles that you can buy in like a pack of 100. I actually have one that kind of matches that. And this is something that I get livid about. This is, we got mugs from the school that said, a good teacher is like a candle flame. It consumes itself to light the way for others. I um, hate that quote so much that it literally gives me the heebie-jeebies. I hate my it. My blood pressure just raised. Like, my Fitbit is like, you're working out. Like, what uh, the fuck is that? That burns themselves or consumes themselves. Consumes. That is a that is a crazy ass thing to say as like a positive. Some people genuinely believe that too. Like they genuinely have bought into that. Like that's something that a therapist says as like a wake up call moment. Like that's not a positive. Yes. No. That it's an awful thing to say to somebody because it just justifies any gaslighting, any abuse, any like genuine feelings of burnout or frustration it's like well you could consume yourself to light the way for others no i don't i'm at work i'm clocked in bitch what if i consume myself and i explode in your office what then what then <laughs> <laughs> holy hell so that's awful this is another rough one you were mint to be a teacher with a single lifesaver mint. These have to be on a list somewhere. This, this one says, a card, thanks for all you do. Here's some encouragement with a peppermint. Jesus. This one, I don't know if this person works at like a daycare or if they're student teaching or like what their situation is, but they said they got sangria mix from a parent and they're only 18 years old. Oh dear, we don't want that. <laughs> That's a couple crimes in one. I'm assuming this was from a child, a donut with a bite taken out of it. Oh my gosh, no. Literally just an email saying thanks was the worst that this person got. Don't even email me. I don't even want that notification. Somebody else said, I would say the worst was last year when my principal didn't even acknowledge it. I don't know if this person means this is bad or good, but they got a bunch of sandwiches from Costco. I like Costco. 
I don't know. I can think of worse. I like Costco. Like I'm guessing they got like I think Costco has like the little deli platter things. I or love something those. Of that nature. They're so I, good. I think that's what they got. I don't. I don't, know, I don't know if they meant that as bad, but I don't think that's bad. It's not great, yeah. but I would eat it. <laughs> one, one singular flare pack. <laughs> oh, those packs are expensive. The principal was like, I got twenty bucks and thirteen teachers. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what? I There's thought there. I respect that a little bit because at least there's thought in it. Like at least they thought about it. This one are our plastic wrapped pencils, teacher appreciation pencils, but the ones that with the plastic wrapping. Teachers hate those pencils. That's like one universal truth is how much teachers hate those pencils. I hate when I buy like a really cute pack of pencils and then I find out that they're plastic wrapped. Like I thought they were printed on because I'm a dingleberry and then I'm just like, I played myself. I thought these were fun. Thanks, dollar spot. Oh, this person went about the weed for teachers, I think, in the most like socially acceptable way. <laughs> okay. A parent asked all the individual teachers, and the person said, this is in Oregon where this is legal. A parent asked all the individual teachers, would you prefer wine or weed? And got them what they mentioned. Oh, my gosh. It's five-star service. <laughs> that is really nice. I wonder if anyone said both or neither. What if someone was like, bring me some Marlboro Lights? And don't bring your kid to school for a week. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> one singular expo marker. I wonder if everyone got a black one or if they got a multicolored pack and like put them out like, oh, she's nice. We'll give her pink. He's an asshole. He gets brown. Did I tell you about the pinata that at the end of one day they gave us a pinata that had a bunch of school supplies in it and we all got to like hit the pinata and then at the end it had school supplies fall out. My colleagues were pissed. I thought it was so cute. I loved it. Okay, so I, I have feelings about this. So, like, I think it is a fun moment, but, like, why am I groveling on the ground with other adults for things I need to do my job that I'm paid a salary for? And you're right, and I should have said this first. This school gave us fucking everything. We wanted for Okay, nothing. then I think it's fun. Like, you could put in a request for literally anything you wanted, and they would buy it for you. Okay, then I think it's fun. They had just bought me everything I could ever have asked for. And then at the end of the day, they, we also were, like, letting off steam by, like, beating the shit out of this pinata. I like that then. For that reason, I liked it. But, like, if it had been at a school where there was nothing, I would have been, like, l livid. I would have thrown up on the floor. Because I saw there was a thing where, like, it was at a hockey game, I think, where they yes, did something I similar with teachers. Yeah, we talked about it on here. I think we did. Or you and I talked about it. At some point, it's been discussed. But, yeah, it was kind of giving that to me. Yes. If you guys don't know about this, they, like, put money on the ice of a hockey game, and they made the teachers, like, fight for the money. I – let me not say what I would do, because I would probably get arrested. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh. Oh no. This person got a $5 gift card for Dunkin' Donuts, but only for the app and it was expired. Oh, this person got a $50 gift card to a restaurant that they had to go out of state for. I have a good gift card one. This person got $150 to Ulta. Ooh, that's useful. From a parent. That's nice. That is nice. I love a lot of people give Ulta gift cards. And what I always do, because I don't wear makeup, is I go and buy like every product at one time so that I have extras to surprise me later so I'll go buy like shampoo lotion just like extras of everything and I just put them in a closet it's a gift that keeps on giving yeah exactly like I haven't bought my own face wash years probably <laughs> so smart oh somebody got a bowl of soup like did they brought it to you hot or was it like a, a for later soup I don't know. I like this one. Beach bag with a towel and a bunch of alcohol. Dropped it off at the office like it was nothing. Incredible. They're like, you have a day at the beach, friend. I'm going to laugh if that person lives in like Indiana. I know. <laughs> when I lived in Pennsylvania, I loved just putting my little beach towel in the backyard. We call oh. it laying out. And we would just yeah, no, lay out I, in the backyard. I was very familiar. Like the sun is out. The ocean doesn't have to be near for me to have a good time. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know if this was a kid or the administrator, but this person said a plastic bag filled with random things from his pantry. If this was a kid, I think this is really sweet that they tried to do something nice for you. If this, I'm hoping that this was a grown man that did this. One K cup, a cough drop. And some loose pieces of gum. I think it was a kid. I love them. 
I think that's really cute that they tried. I think it is too. My first year teaching, I had a kid that brought me literally a picture frame from his home. He he would always bring me things from his home, but I would always have to like message his mom on Class Dojo and be like, hey, hey girl, I have your car keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it so much, but also come get it. So that was funny. I saw one online a couple of years ago that like actually rips my heart open every single time I think about it and I might cry. But a teacher who works in like a very, very, very low income school for teacher appreciation week, one of the kids, you know, those little cereal boxes they give the kids in the morning. Yeah. The kid picked out all of the marshmallows and put them in a bag and gave it to the teacher as their teacher appreciation. And I was like, that kid had that kid had literally fucking nothing. And they took the time to give you the best part of their government issued breakfast. And they put all the marshmallows in the little baggie that the silverware comes in and like tied the top part and gave it to the teacher. And I was like, I'm going to throw up. That is literally like the kindest thing I've ever heard in my life. I think that is so cute. (laughs) A glittery mug with my face on it, she says. I kind of love that. I love it. This one is two coins of appreciation. You know those things where you can like put a penny in and it squishes it and imprint something? Yes. They're like that and it's a a flower and says thank you for everything. And then it has a card from their principal. This person said, shout out to the mom who sent all of her daughter's high school teachers food every day that week. She saved me after this bullshit. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That's so nice. That is so nice. A lot of people said their worst was coasters. Interesting for that to be more than one time occurrence. I think it's because like our furniture sucks. Why would I need a coaster here? I think it's just like not a very thoughtful gift and it's like not very useful. Get one of those mug warmer ones. Yeah, those are good. I love those ones. I have one of those. I like it. This one. Oh my God. Pre-K teacher. Kiddo suggested tampons because I'm always buying more, so I must really like them. I but love when kids observe. Is this your kiddo that noticed yeah, that you buy tampons? Or Maybe they have like a vending machine there or something. I don't know. This one is a really good one. A student drew me my cats as dragons. So it's the teacher's cats with wings and tails. Like dragon tails. That is amazing. Oh, families took turns bringing meals. That's nice. So they like rotated it. Oh, this parent's a rock star. The parent is a professional masseuse and gave all the teachers 30-minute massages. Wow, that's so nice. We got a bag of expired chips one year from the dollar store. Not the expired ones. At the very least, we can do better than that, friends. Two people got paper, reams of paper. That's just, I, you should get that multiple times a week for nothing. This <laughs> one says, a Whole Foods gift card. Usable, but weird way to say I know they don't pay you enough to live. I like Whole Foods, though. Whole Foods is a good spot. One thing about me is there's, like, places that I won't go because I feel like I shouldn't be spending the money on it. So gift cards kind of force me to go to do things. Yeah. Like my family has started buying me spa gift cards because I will not spend the money to do that. But they give me money and they're like, okay, buy something nice for yourself. And I won't. I'll buy and shoes you're like, for the girls I will buy groceries. Right. I'm going to pay my mortgage. Groceries are very nice for me and you. Yeah. So they force <laughs> my hand by buying gift cards to places like that. And I don't know. That's That's kind of how I go about things like... Whole Foods. I love a gift card. This person got a Keurig. I wonder if that was Ooh. from like your boss or from a parent. Oh, a turtle brought to me in the puke bucket from the AM bus ride. <laughs> Enjoy your new pet. I like it. Oh, what's a Smensel? Oh, you don't know Smensel? Oh, no. Smensel fucking rocks. What is These it? These were so popular when I was in middle school. They're pencils that smell good. That's it. Oh, fun. This person said the principal forgot and gave us all Smensels from the school store. I think I remember smelling s- smelly pencils at one point. Yeah. From the book fair. This one, to clarify, this person said the gifts were nice. They're just making fun of this other part. So for Teacher Appreciation Week, our admins would give the teachers a different gift every day of the week. The gifts were all nice, bath and body work, soaps, stuff like that. But a bunch of the gift tags had little puns that were severely misspelled every day. They gave you the gift and they also said, and by the way, We still need you, educators, as exemplified by the fact that this is all spelled horribly. (laughs) Uh, Somebody got a rock 
And then they were asked to paint the rock for their principal to show the principal that she is their rock. Interesting. This person said they didn't do it. (laughs) Do you work at my old school? He would love that. (laughs) Do you work for someone that is so fucking deeply obsessed with themselves? (laughs) Oh, no. Somebody got a pack of peanut M&M's. But they had a student who was deathly allergic. Yikes on bikes. They, the tag said, we'd be nuts without you. You're nuts with me because this kid's almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> this one says the best one is their instructional coach covered an hour of everyone's day during the week. Ooh, oh, that's so nice. My school does something similar to that. For um, We have a teacher of the month thing where the kids get to vote on it and you get a half day. And one of the administrators watches your class. Oh, my gosh. And you get to pick what half of the day. So, like, if you want to come in late or leave early, you get to choose. That's amazing. Good free gifts. If you need to give a gift and you have no money, people love not working. Like, if you are a principal and you're like, I have no money, I have no staff, and it's Teacher Appreciation Week. Be like, everyone gets to leave an hour and a half early. Take all the kids. Watch Shrek with them in the gym. That's a good idea. Another good idea, no one has to turn in lesson plans for the rest of the year. Woohoo. Or, now we're really thinking outside the box, give teachers coupons to get out of work that they can redeem at any time next year. Going to guarantee they come back. So a coupon that says, you don't have to turn in your lesson plan this week. A coupon that says, I'll cover your class for an hour. Pass those out. Kind of spread the burden. Kick that can down the road. Half of them will lose them, so you probably aren't even going to have to make good on most of them. I think that's the winner. And she's giving this to you for free, people. This has been an ad for Teacher Quit Talk Teacher Appreciation Week Consulting. (laughs) Pricing starts at $30,000. Call us. And that doesn't include the gifts. No. You have to additionally pay for the gifts. That's for our opinions only. Intellectual property. Oh, this person got a photo of themselves teaching with like a letter attached. That's cute. Yeah. It's a little big brother, but I like it. They said they sobbed. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, we, we love want those that. tears of flow in teacher appreciation week. You know, the other thing that my schools always did was they, at the beginning of the year, would give us like a form that asked like, what's your favorite candy? What's your favorite this? Ba-da-da-da. And then they would have it on file so that for things like teacher appreciation week or testing week or the week before winter break, they would give you treats. It's nice to have that on file for your teachers. Yeah. My admin does the birthday one. So like, and they even, I was impressed with this. Like, so I got hired like verbally really early but because I had to move I didn't actually sign the paperwork so like they didn't have an email address for me and before the school year started they reached out to my personal email to make sure that I filled out the little birthday form so I would get my birthday thing this is what they did for me I don't know if they do it different for other people he came to my class with the snacks in a bag and then forced my class to sing me happy birthday which was really sweet but it was kind of weird because it was a new class so it was their second day with me so they were like we don't even know this bitch like what are you doing (laughs) so like it was great it was so cute but the kids were like uh like I don't know if they thought that I set it up as like a social experiment like so weird timing but I loved it I'm sure they were happy to jumpstart their relationship with you in that way. I made a joke to my principal the other day, and I think it scared him because... What did you say? So he was asking me if I got my like certification contract stuff dealt with, and I said, yeah, I actually just signed the contract yesterday, so you can't get rid of me. And he got so serious, and he was like, we want you to stay here forever. We really... You cannot leave he was like, you did sign it, right? He was like, you signed it? I was like, oh, my God, stop panicking. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was Ew. like, I was joking. <laughs> I don't want to talk about our feelings. I signed yeah. it. It's in your email. <laughs> don't worry, big dog. Have you seen that TikTok about calling men big dog? Yes. I meant to try that today, and I forgot to. I need to like <laughs> write it on my hand or something. Yeah. When you leave us a five-star review, tell us what you got for Teacher Appreciation Week. We'll be listening. And even though maybe your boss doesn't appreciate you, maybe your kids don't appreciate you, maybe their parents curse you out on a regular basis, we appreciate you. Thank you for your service to this God-forsaken country. God bless you. We love you. Goodbye. (laughs) ASMR kisses. (laughs) 
just as a disclaimer, because I am someone who is actively teaching, everything on this podcast is my personal opinion and does not reflect my district, my state, my employer, my students, or my admin. Everything on this podcast was recorded on personal time, on personal equipment, and is a completely separate endeavor from my school district.